So GoPro Hero 13 Black has a new slow motion feature that's called Burst Slow Mo. And this particular feature allows you to capture a video at a much higher frame rate than ever before. You see, with previous GoPro cameras, you could record 5K 60, 4K 120, or 2.7K 240 frames per second. But with Hero 13 Black, you can go even slower than that. So if you like playing with slow motion, or you want to add speed ramping to your video, then you're gonna love this feature. Now go to your video presets and select Burst Slow Mo. In here, you have three main settings to choose from. And notice that you have 120, 360, and 400 frames per second, which is currently the highest frame rate you can get from a GoPro camera. Now see for yourself what kind of shots you can get with it. All right, so how did you like it? Bear in mind that all of these shots were recorded in 720p in 400 frames per second, just so I could see how slow I can get with it. I really think that you can get so much creative with that 400 frames per second, just to spice things up in your video. Now, notice that depending on which frame rates you choose, it's gonna change the quality of your video and field of view. If you select 400 frames per second, you're gonna get the slowest slow motion possible, but at a cost of a much lower resolution, which is 720p, and a narrow field of view. However, if you select lower frames per second, you'll get a much higher resolution and a wider field of view, but it cannot be slowed down as much. Take a look at the video comparison between 120 and 400 frames per second to see the difference. So which one is more important to you? Do you need higher quality video or more slow motion? Unfortunately, with 5K video, you can record for only five seconds, which is a huge limitation, especially if you don't have a remote control. And the other two settings also have a time limit, which is around 15 seconds. So basically, very slow mo is a feature that you can use to get a very specific type of shot, rather than just some setting that you can use for all day long. What's more, unfortunately, this setting doesn't have a horizon lock in it. So I really recommend to use some kind of a gimbal just to keep the horizon leveled. This way, you're gonna get better results. Personally, I recommend Hohem iSteady Pro 4 just because it's super easy to mount your camera in and out just whenever you need it and it's gonna help you keep your horizon level. Now, if you found some value in my content and you learned something from it, don't forget to give this video a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next one.